Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen. Professor World! What's up, Calm? I'm rocking out right now. We know. We can hear you. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm practicing for my band, Rock Skull. The name of your band is the same name as the Elamon Rock Skull? Oh, yeah. That's where I must have got the name from. Well, he is a very interesting Elamon. Let me tell you all about him. The Elamon Rock Skull has the chemical formula of HNO3. This is also known as nitric acid. The combination alone is not safe as it is commonly used for combustion. That's why Rock Skull is a rocket. He can blast off! Correct. Now, let's break down the chemistry behind Rock Skull. HNO3. When you combine hydrogen, highly flammable, nitrogen, abundant and non-reactive, and three, oxygen, which is known for being added for combustion purposes. These are the elements that make Rock Skull. When these elements come together in this way, it produces the highly corrosive substance that is nitric acid, also known as HNO3. Oh, it all makes sense now. Hey, come. how about we make our own rocket? Nitric acid is too toxic to bring into this lab. No, no, no. I'm going to make a science experiment version. Come on, I'll show you. <sighs> as long as you can clean up your mess. Don't I always? No. It's time for an experiment! I have all the ingredients to use to make the rocket. Now remember, I'm a scientist. If you want to do your own experiment, make sure you ask an adult to help you. For this experiment, all you'll need is baking soda and vinegar. See, Calm? This is super safe! All we're mixing is baking soda and vinegar, which means we're only releasing CO2. I'll be keeping a digital eye on you. With all the worrying he does, you'd think he'd be human. Anyways, let's get to the experiment. So all we need to do next is mix these two ingredients and shake the bottle. The reaction between the baking soda and vinegar will release carbon dioxide. The pressure will build and need to go somewhere. Our only opening is here. The carbon dioxide pressure will build and press on the cork and it'll be shot off. Our rock skull rocket will blast off. And there you have it. This is also the same reaction in DIY volcano experiments, but we're gonna make a rocket. Oh, but wait, I almost forgot something. Now it's perfect! Now let's test this Rock Skull rocket! We're at the launch pad! Mission Control, get ready for countdown! Mission Control is ready to go, Professor! Here's our rocket! We have vinegar right here, bags full of baking soda, and a cork. Once I shake it up, it's gonna blast off! Oh, I'm so excited! I hope I don't forget how to count! Mission Control, get ready to launch! We are ready to launch in three, two, one, blast off! Woohoo! <laughs> Next launch in three, two, one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Professor, it is time to shake it up for your final launch. Here we go! Come on, rocket! Blast off! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> wow! That was impressive! What if we supersize this experiment? Supersize? Supersize! Here's the blueprint for our rocket launcher. Now to supersize it, we're switching from a one liter bottle to a five gallon water jug. We're adding sturdy legs to this rocket, and our cork will be a potato! To make this experiment even more interesting, we're going to build a rocket ramp with adjustable trajectory. The rocket will blast off the ramp and we can measure the distance that it travels. It's going to blast the rocket higher and further than ever before. Now we need to deliver the blueprints. Akuro, catch! Okay. Seacom, no mess. Thank you. What did I come out here for again? Huh? Oh, hey Akuro, what you got there? Oh, blueprints. Oh, wow, this is great. Uh-huh, come on, come on. Okay, the rocket is all set up and we're ready to test the first one. Blast. 
fast stop in three, two, one! Did you see that? Whoa! Oh my gosh, did you see how far it went? was a success! Talk about a supersized experiment. Are you going to play that instrument again? Of course! We're celebrating the success of Rocket Ramp. We're gonna rock and roll like Rock Skull. At least I'm not making a mess, right? True. That's all for Professor World today. Nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen.